guys, if I'm acting a little bit off in this video, it's because I'm dog sitting and I just had to separate two dogs from fighting because one got freaked out and I don't know why. I don't know if it was ghosts or if there's something in the air vent. Um, so I'm just a little unsettled by that, but you know, I gave the other dog her um, anxiety medication and separated them and I think they're home down now, but um, I don't know what that was about. So that was a little scary. <laughs> But this is my first update for my project pan. I don't really think I had a name for it. It's just a project pan. You will probably hear dog noises. There's currently one right next to me right now, kind of blocking me um, in to where I set up my phone. It's, it's always hard to find a good setup at every different place. Um, but I do have some pretty good progress. Unfortunately, the two empties I have, I forgot to bring with me. They are currently in the little bin I keep all of my makeup empties in because I wanna do a makeup empties video at the end of the year, which will be like in a week. Um, I don't know when it's gonna be up because I am vacationing like the five days after New Year's Eve. So that will come up eventually, but I, I will, you know, when things are empty, but I won't have a picture or anything of them. Sorry if the angle changed, I had a dog dump up on the bed, which I'm propping it up on the headboard, and then it proceeded to fall. Um, so thanks, thanks for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and begin with one of my empties, which is my Milani Conceal Perfect Concealer. It was very close to being empty. The stopper has been out for about six months. I remember really enjoying it when I had oilyish skin and I used it on my face mostly. Um, but by the time I had it this past month, the stopper has been out for so long that it was very thick and dry and it's just used for spot concealing. The way I actually used it up was I mixed it with this lipstick to make it more of a sheerer or a lighter blush. Um, so I'm just going to address this lipstick now. I used that concealer six times before I used it up completely. This e.l.f. Beautifully Bare lipstick in the shade Touch of Blush, one of my favorites. I have a little bit of its color on my lips, kind of sheared out with a lip gloss on top. Um, but I used it on my cheeks today as a cream blush and it shears out beautifully. Now I'm pairing this with the nude eyeliner, which I'll probably get to next. Um, everything's paired with everything so I have to address them all at the same time but I will can you not be licking yourself that's kind of a gross sound effect even if it's just your arm it okay pardon the dog licking arm sounds I use this lipstick nine times and I just include the day I use it not whether I use it on my lips or my cheeks both it that that would just be one use um but I used a tiny bit. I thought the progress wasn't that good, but I actually will show the picture of the progress. And it's, it's better than I thought, <laughs> to be honest, because despite this being a satin lipstick, it's kind of firmer in texture, so it takes forever to use up. I've had this for about five years, so that's why I'm so motivated to use it up, um, even though I really, really enjoy it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that progress, and now it is my focus blush. For a while there, I was using my Essence lip liner in the shade under my skin as a blush. Oh wait, that was the one I mixed with the concealer. Yes, okay. Um, not this, my bad. Um, so I used that as a blush, and then after I finished the concealer, I just colored it onto my brush and patted it on for a pink blush. I just wasn't in love with a really bright pink lip liner. That's not really the color I go for when I bought it. That was more what I liked, but I was kind of done with it. It's pretty old. Um, so I don't have the empty with me. Dude, can you stop licking yourself? Okay, so hopefully he stopped licking himself. Um, but I used the Essence lip liner 12 times in total. And a few of those times were on my lips. Um, I usually only liked it if I put on lip balm and then a bit of it. So it was like a sheared lip liner just because when it was like dry on dry lips, it's just bright, bright pink. Um, which isn't really my vibe most days or any day really um but I'm really happy to get that done because I was not looking forward to using it up on my lips and then when I realized I could use it as a blush I actually really enjoyed it I've been really enjoying pinky blushes and okay at least you settled down now um <laughs> but now I'm moving on to the lipstick to make the lipstick a little bit more stay put matte and a little bit lighter of a color i mix it with this essence eyeliner in the shade this is nude i believe and it's 
I didn't sharpen it yet. It got all smushed the last time I colored it on my cheeks, but since it's meant to stay in the waterline, it's pretty good at like staying in place. And since the lipstick is satin, I think it kind of helps. Though I wouldn't be surprised if this was done by next month, because as you can see by the picture, I've used a lot, even though the lipstick has not been my focus blush. The lip liner was. So I'm thinking if I used half of it up basically when it wasn't a focus, Next month when it will be my main blush, this guy's gonna go and then I'll just be using the lipstick on its own, which is okay. I'm only using it this way because I just, I've learned that I don't love this in the waterline. It has a really pretty effect, but I wish it would stay in place longer. But the thing is it feels, I think my eyes maybe just get more irritated than some people's. And so having this kind of foreign substance in my waterline, usually my eyes try to, try to wash it away. It do, my eyes don't get watery, but sometimes they get itchy. Or like, I, I don't know, I just find myself messing with my eyes more when I wear eyeliner in the waterline. So that's the main reason why this has to go. Um, and I'm glad I found a way to use it up a lot faster because in the waterline, it went so slowly. I've used this more than the other two eyeliners, yet it what was the least amount of progress it was the tallest of them but using it to mix with my blush has made it a lot more enjoyable and go by a lot faster so i'm really glad i found a way to repurpose this while we are on the topic of eyeliners i will address my other two let's get the least exciting one over with the black eyeliner i've used four times including today i just use a tiny bit to extend my lash line essentially just for a lighter look and as you can see by the picture, I haven't made a ton of progress and it is still decently tall. You can still see most of the words on it. The reason it goes a bit slower for me is because typically I use an ang angled liner brush and I kind of color on it and then I draw. And if it's going to be a thicker wing, usually it's a thicker wing if I just can't. This is the first time I've ever managed to do a subtle wing like this without messing up and then it's suddenly a big wing. Um, so actually that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Um, but usually I just colored in, I start doing a wing, and then to help um, with the color saturation, saturation, I go in and make sure it's a bit uh, sharp enough to kind of fill it, fill it in because the brush kind of shears it out, but it helps make a sharper line. So as long as the center is darker and then it kind of wings out, it works. Um, but I only wear this with looks where I'm wearing black. Um, Versus my brown eyeliner, I find a lot more approachable, probably because I'm more fair toned and I don't have super dark hair, so I think brown typically looks better on me. As you can see by comparison of all three of the eyeliners I'm working on, these two are pretty similar in height. The brown is, is the shortest and the black one is much taller. I will probably need to sharpen this brown one soon, but since I usually go with the brush first, I'm fine with it being dull and then sharpening it to kind of fill in if I, if I choose to do it that way. But as you can see by my lines, I've used a lot more of the brown up. I've reached for it four times as well. So why did it... It must have just been the the way I used it. Maybe my wings are a bit more dramatic with the brown than the black. Or maybe it was just the way that sharpening worked out. You know what I mean? Like where it was at and then how much I sharpened it since. I don't know why it's the same amount of uses, but way more progress for the brown but i'm not mad um even though i like this i'm fine with just using a brown eyeshadow that is totally fine for me um so i'm not gonna like be so sad when this is gone let's move on to the next thing which is not something i can update very effectively i also kind of did a fail franken <laughs> but last time i had a franken contour i put up the picture but while i was repressing a bunch of things like my face powder needed repressing and then I made a little Franken blush topper which I will introduce in a bit. Um, I decided to repress my contour and I added a bit of the face powder I was using in it just because I had I just wanted to clear out that one compact that was breaking. The problem with the face powder is it is a loose powder um, so it broke as of like yesterday so great timing so i can't show you progress i repressed it into this little pan instead of the big one so i could put the blush topper in there but 
despite being in a little pan and being filled up to the brim, it still broke. Probably because there's no binder and a loose powder and so it kind of made it more fragile. But another way it was a fail <laughs> is because I added too much powder to the point where it's barely a contour. The tone is a contour. The tone has a little bit of like cool dimension to it. I'm not wearing it today. I, did, I, I didn't want to deal with this. Um, but it ends up more just being a face powder for my cheeks and just the perimeter of my face because it has a bit of shimmer that I wouldn't want on like the center of my face and it also is a little bit cooler again so it works as maybe like to to put on the perimeter of my face and use as a contour but very subtly or maybe use to set my cream blush get a little bit cooler and more carved out but it's essentially my skin tone <laughs> So that was a bit of a fail. I think I still just want to use it up. A part of me wants to get rid of it. Um, but I think it's fine. I'll just, I'll just use it up. I'll have to repress it. We'll see how much I use it next. Um, I might roll in my next like bronzer or contour thing just to use on as actual, add something like an actual warmth or contour or something. Cause this one is basically just face powder my cheeks and the like perimeter of my forehead also I think I I haven't done this in so long that I'm starting to look at the screen rather than the camera usually I don't do that but this time I have a forward facing camera just because of the way I had to get it set up usually I like the other way because there's a better camera but but I have to make do anyways I have to keep looking at you <laughs> um but the next thing I'm holding is this Milani lip gloss and I not only forgot to let it settle I don't even know if it will settle, and I don't think if it did settle, you would be able to see much. It is the Milani Luminoso Lip Gloss. Did I already say that? Maybe I did. I used it four times. Not much. And when I used it, I don't think I reapplied it much, if at all. And when I use it, I use a very small amount because I don't like the feeling of a ton of gloss on my lips. I just am not a gloss girl like I used to be. Um, I almost didn't put it in this look. I, I had a little bit of that lipstick sheared out on my lips with the lip balm and I was like, this is pretty, I don't wanna mess it up. But I convinced myself to, to do the lip gloss to see if I like the look. And I actually do. I will say that because I used the lip liner and the concealer up, when I finished the concealer, I rolled in this Milani face powder just to start working on it and tracking it. I, I use it every day, it's my favorite face powder. I find it does a great job at setting my skin but leaving just enough luminosity to not look too flat and matte and like I'm just wearing cakey makeup and also not too shiny that I, I just look like I'm sweaty, you know? It's a nice in-between. I really like it. Um, I probably will repurchase this. I have used it how many times since I rolled it in? Nine times. And so as soon as I finished the concealer, I rolled that in, but then I also rolled in the blush topper because when I repress that powder, I repress the blush topper because usually when I repress, I just want to do multiple things at once. And I'll insert a picture of this blush topper when I first started. It does not look any different. I've only used it five times since that photo, and now it has a hard pan because I decided I was a genius, and I used a damp brush on it to use on my lids. But the thing about this is that it's not very shiny. It's shinier on my cheeks than it is anywhere else, it seems. I used it damp on my eyes and then with a finger went over it just because sometimes I think my my like beige color is just a little bit pale and just flat. And I think this added the necessary like dimension to kind of tie in the rest of the look and make it look very cohesive. Um, so this is kind of an underwhelming blush topper, but it's pretty enough. And um, I, I use two eyeshadows. I think that is everything to update on. I, I rolled in the, the blush topper and the powder and I finished a lip liner and a concealer. I wanted to use the contour up at the end of the year. I just didn't enjoy it as is. And I think that's why I, I went too overboard with the powder because I just found it looked kind of muddy on me. And now it just looks like nothing on me, so. Uh, with the opposite end of the spectrum, the opposite problem, I guess. So we will see. But I'm thinking by next time, I'll definitely have the nude eyeliner done. And probably that's it. But I actually am enjoying this lip gloss today. So hopefully I'll reach for it more. Because I just, again, I'm not as much of a lip gloss person. I considered decluttering it for a second there. And then I decided not to. And I'm glad I didn't because... It's pretty, it's pretty, I'll give it that. 
so thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you have an amazing day bye